Welcome to the Automatic Line Detection on X-Ray Views tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to automatically extract lines from X-Ray Views, for example, in order to extract building boundaries or floor plans. In order to do so, we first need to talk about point normals. Each point cloud point can have a normal vector which is perpendicular to the local surface. Here I have a two point clouds of our office building, one point cloud with point normals and one point cloud without point normals. We can check if a point cloud has normals if we turn on shading. But even better way to check if a point cloud has normals is to right click on, on the point cloud in the list of point clouds. If point cloud has normals, there will be an option to remove the normals in the context menu. On the other hand, if a point cloud doesn't have normals yet, there will be an option to calculate them. It is recommended that before automatic line detection you calculate normals first, because in that case walls in the x-ray views will be more profound and you will get better line detection result. Let me explain this on an example. Here is an x-ray of the scan of our office building calculated from the point cloud without the normals. And here is an x-ray calculated from the point cloud with normals. Notice that the walls are better visible on this one because horizontal elements like ground and floor is missing here. So in short, if you will be detecting lines on x-rays, you should make sure first that your point cloud has normal. Use the following parameters to calculate the normals. First, set the simplified cloud relative size parameter to zero. This will speed up calculation. The second parameter, number of nearest neighbors, you can leave at 20. This means that for each point cloud point, its normal will be calculated by taking into account 20 nearest points. Some laser scanners have an option of exporting point cloud normals. If you have that option, exporting point cloud with normals during raw data processing is preferred to calculating normals. Then once we have a point cloud with normals, we can create our x-ray views by clicking on x-ray views in menu bar and selecting calculate new x-ray views. This step will again have some parameters. If your project is the size of a building, we recommend you set x-ray resolution to one centimeter, but if you are working with an area of a few buildings, then you can use two centimeters. For color transparency value set 90% and leave transparent background enabled and press generate. You will get your x-ray views. Now to get nicer front and right views, we recommend you rotate the images using align model tool first. You click on the align model tool and then you go to the top view, zoom in on a building corner, and mark it by clicking on it with the left mouse button and start defining new model orientation. Draw the new coordinate axes along the building walls and right click to confirm. Once you are done, confirm also here in the align model pop-up. Now new top, front, and right views will be generated. Papa, these views now have too many lines for the automatic line extraction algorithm, so we will create a new layout first. So click here on a new layout button here, and then start defining the plane by clicking on, for example, front view, like so. Now we will adjust first the X and Y min-max values by clicking on the sides of the yellow area of interest. In this tutorial, we will extract the floor plan at the ceiling of the second floor. Set your Z min and max values so that your slice will be about half a meter thick. Then click and drag the area of interest to just under the ceiling. Zoom in to place the red line just under the ceiling. Red line defines the plane on which the generated lines will be on. For the first time, we will leave the target resolution and transparency parameters the way they were, and we press confirm. That is done. To get a better view of the generated X-ray, I will now temporarily disable the initial views. The goal is to get here such a slice so that the walls are well-defined and up to a few pixels thick. If the walls are not well-defined in your layout, you can right-click on the layout and click Recalculate in the context menu and change the layout parameters to get better defined floor plan. But mine is okay, so I will just cancel here. Before we start line detection, we will head back to CAD tab and set some new layers, for example, new layer with a name one and a new layer with a name two. I am ready to right-click on the layout and select Detect Lines. Once we did that, 3D Survey will automatically set the threshold parameter 
so that about 70% of white pixels will be used for automatic line detection. We will put our result on the layer 1. Let's click Detect and see what we get. OK. Maybe I would like some more lines. Let's repeat the detection. And now we will put our results on the layer 2. Because I would like to get more lines, I will decrease the threshold by, for example, 10%, and then click on the Detect. Now my lines are a bit longer. Finally, you can then edit these lines. First, we will disable the lines on layer 1 so that we know we are working with lines from the second attempt. And then back in the X-ray views, we can just click on the endpoints and make slight adjustments by moving them around. If we head back to CAD, we can now see the lines which were automatically extracted. And the generated data can then be exported by clicking on the Data Save CAD as That's it for this tutorial. For further information, check our webinar on this subject. Thank you for watching. Bye.